What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Stardust here, welcome back to another video here on Marvel's Avengers. Now, there was a dev stream that happened last night, it was hosted by Lejeune, congratulations Lejeune, quality stuff as always. However, because I am absolutely terrible at writing things down, I have used, once again, my good friend Joseph Abel at the Murphy's Multiverse's amazing article to be able to read to you exactly what took place. So I will read it, give my thoughts on it. And then give it to you wonderful people. So, Crystal Dynamics didn't hold dev stream today, but one of the developers was a guest on Twitch stream of Lejeune's latest stream. He had a chance to interview the Warzone director and some of the future content and what the new roadmap might have in store for players. Now, I love this for the simple reason of I've always said, use your assets. And what I mean by that is there are so many content creators in the community that absolutely adore this game and want to talk to you about it. And now you're finally giving us an opportunity to be able to talk to you. Of course, I had that Community Voices with Andy Wong, Community Manager for Marvel's Avengers, Phil jumped on here, a huge opportunity for Lejeune, absolutely amazing, of course Phil will be on Community Voices one day as well, so this is absolutely incredible and I'm glad that they've started doing this for content creators. And hopefully, uh, we will be able to see more in the future. Uh, you can expect a patch next week. It will fix some ongoing issues with Thor's MCU skin. Uh, clipping, which is really good, because even though I love the skin, the clipping does put me off a little bit with using it. Uh, it'll add new daily and weekly mission chains for resources. Now, this is good. I remember when Ruskaya Protocol came out and that was de uh, dedicated to resources. People were very upset by that. But obviously, it ended up helping because we got all those exotics from the Red Room Takeover event with the people who could complete it obviously however this is decent and obviously you know we can never do with enough resources and things to do so i appreciate it very much uh, the big reveal is that we can expect a surprise in the patch but we didn't get any details the release is timely with the game's anniversary so we'll see what it may be now this is quite interesting, uh, simply for the reason of no one knows. There was no hints to this, um, which you know it, it could be. It could be literally anything. It could be something as massive as a fucking random character drop, uh, a um, mission drop, or something like that. Or it could just be like a nice emo or a bunch of credits or skins or something like that. So either way, once the game updates, you'll all know what that surprise will be. Uh, the next roadmap is in its final stages. They're just setting in some for last details before they can reveal it. There was no hint of when we can expect it besides very, very shortly, which adds to a potential anniversary release. Now, I would agree with Joe uh, in that point that when you say very, very shortly, you're screaming that it is going to be near the anniversary date. In my personal opinion, I think that uh, on Monday coming up, we are in the week where we are going to see a roadmap. I personally believe the patch that they're talking about will be on the Tuesday and on Thursday we are going to get a blog dedicated entirely to uh, to the roadmap. So that is going to be absolutely exciting. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing that and diving into it. Uh, feedback from the Omega level threats are all taken into consideration. You hear that the next release will show players what they have learned from the past, especially to give melee focus builds more attention. Now that's very important. I have always said that it always feels like ranged is dominating in this game and it definitely needs to be balanced a lot more when it comes to that. So I'm really glad that uh, in the future Omega level threats, which are supposed to be the hardest missions in the game, will uh, give some love to the melee players as well. That's incredibly important. Uh, they briefly touched on a new horde mode that they are looking into feedback. So there is a chance it might get built upon and turned into a brand new game mode. He even hinted there are some other elements and many could be expanded in the future. Um, Here's the thing. Horde mode was really good. Uh, Horde mode was... I actually really enjoyed Horde mode. But it needs it needs to be its own game mode. Because you've ha you've got such a fun little thing there where you can turn it into a mode. Uh, put gear in there with it. You know, some really good Vibranium or Sonic Exotics, for example. There's a lot that you could do with it. Let me just remove that quick video there. Sorry, Joe. Uh, there's, a <laughs> there's a lot you could do with Horde mode. And it's definitely something that I feel wasn't able to reach its full potential. So hopefully it will... Uh, We'll be able to soon. Uh, Gear 2.0 will continue to roll out. They're working on a lot of different things, and these elements also connect to recent developments, such as the rumored cosmetic rework and the expansion with loadouts. Gear 2.0, for me, will always be one of the weirdest things because I do believe that a lot of people are a little bit hesitant to get excited for those things ever since we found out that it won't be one big burst and it'll actually be in like, like um, consistent updates. So I definitely think it's a wait and see whenever those things are. Uh, 
whenever those things take place. It depends if you like it, but if you don't, then you know where to put your feedback. He was very coy on the potential inclusion of a Wakanda faction. He said it was a possibility and well suited for it, but there hasn't been any announcements so far. Now, I imagine just from that reply, there probably will be in the future. There definitely needs to be, and there needs to be a Crossbones villain sector uh, as quick as humanly possible, but not one given by the Resistance or S.H.I.E.L.D., one that's given by the Wakanda faction. So, uh, hopefully we can get that as soon as possible, potentially even on uh, this update. Potentially. Uh, so one thing they would love to do is introduce live event elements into the game. They want people to find easter eggs and theorize what it might mean for the future. So perhaps it's an element they're including in special game modes like the upcoming patrol mode. I think patrol mode's the perfect place to do live events, similar stuff. Um... Obviously, Fortnite has is, is absolutely smashed that game, and I'm not expecting anything on that level. But I definitely expect there to be a lot of um, coolness that you could do with that, and a lot of hinting if you're not able to speak a lot on it. Uh, joining session functions is something they haven't announced yet, but want to look into moving forward. Uh, yeah. I mean, Omega level threats need them so badly. Uh, Marvel's Avengers anniversary is just around the corner, so it'd be the perfect time to announce the various additions heading our way for the second year, or at least until the end of 2021. It seems likely, as they've repeatedly confirmed Spider-Man will get released this year, that will hit, that will get his official release date once that very roadmap drops. Now, I've heard about this, and I'm excited, so I'm going to talk to you guys as a Spider-Man fan really quick. I have heard that during that conversation, because I actually missed that bit, annoyingly, um, that, uh, I, it, it essentially was like, okay, uh, we can't talk about Spider-Man yet, it's all about the roadmap. Uh, and that makes me incredibly happy, you know. I've been pushing to hear about Spider-Man for ages. The fact that we're finally going to hear something is, is truly amazing, and I'm so excited to be able to finally see what Spider-Man in Marvel's Avengers is all about. So that is the details, the gory details. I will leave the article down in the description down below so you guys can have a read yourself rather than listen to my stupid voice narrate over it. And I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this, and peace.